Hello everyone, my name is Tid Harmeltzer. I'm a solution engineer at Whitesource, and this is a demonstration of Whitesource Advise, a browser extension that provides developers with insights on open source components listed on the web pages they visit. Um, I'll start with the, uh, the, the deployment of the extension. First thing you need to do is to log into your Whitesource account as an administrator user. You need to go to the admin section and from here, click on Advice for Chrome Management. First thing we need to do is to generate a usage token for the users who are going to use Whitesource Advice. Um, we'll simply plug in their email addresses. Uh, if there's more than one, just separate it by uh, line breaks. Once I generated the uh, token, the user that, uh, that was generated here is supposed to receive an email. And here I just got it. Once, let me cut. And this is the email you are supposed to receive. It's a download link to White Source Advice. You can either click the download here or click the link right here or instructions how to deploy it. And we'll simply, we'll simply do, do this from here. So we'll go to the download page in the Chrome Web Store and simply add the extension to Chrome. Once the extension is added, you can click on the extension and you'll be prompt to provide the email address of, of the user that you just generated. So we'll do that. Once you do that, an activation email is sent again. So let us show it right here. And all you need to do now is verify your account. And uh, now we're done. White source advice is deployed and can be can be used. So um, now from the developer side, from the actual end user, uh, we'll simply go to one of the uh, open source repositories. We'll start with npmjs for an example, and just search for the package that I'm looking for. And once I'm in the packages page, Whitesource Advice will require my attention here. So I'm gonna click it here. And it will provide me with basic information about this package, the name, the version, the license. I have an indication if that uh, library is already being used in one of my projects. And if it uh, meets any of the conditions of my uh, configured organizational policies. Now this particular package doesn't validate, violate any policies and also I, I'm not actually using it in my organization right now, but uh, let's go to a previous version that I know I am using. And once, uh, once I'm in the, in, once I'm in that packages page, I can see here now, I can still see the same information. I can also see now an indication that it's outdated, of course. I can see that it actually violates one of my organizational policies. The uh, uh, reject high severity vulnerability because it is vulnerable. I can see all the vulnerabilities that are associated with this library here. And I can click on them to see their description. So I can tell which vulnerabilities actually affect this library. And I can also see that I'm already using it in one of my projects, in two of my projects actually. So I can see here, this is the product name and this is the project name. These are the uh, product and projects where this particular package is being used. And this is the information provided by Whitesource Advice. Uh, let's take another example with the uh, Maven repository, for example. And let's look for um, data bind. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna view the latest version, not the release candidate, just the latest one, the latest uh, GA. And again, white source advice requires my attention. I can see again, all the information I can see 
that this particular package is already used in one of my one of my projects. And same here, I'm going to uh, look at a previous version. Let's go not not to not such an old one. I'll just slightly older. This is the one I, I know I'm currently using. Again, watch this device requires my attention and will provide me with information of where this package is being used, which organizational policies it violates or automatically approved by if, if applicable. And of course, the vulnerabilities that are associated with it. Hovering with my mouse will show me the CV number, but I can also click and see the actual details. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.